Hey, I'm Devin, and we are back with more XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Uh, so we are right in the middle of an Avenger defense right now. Uh, it started at the end of last stream, but then after closing the stream out, I discovered that you can't actually save an, uh, save an exit during uh, Mission Prep for Avenger defense. So I went ahead and uh, finished that up and are at the start of the mission here. Now, something I want to try, uh, I have heard that you can basically get through these missions really easily by using blaster bombs uh, to destroy the uh, enemy signaler and evac immediately. And I'm kind of inclined to try that just because our roster is already a little thin and we've got a couple uh, missions that we want to do soon, like the Codex Gateway. So I'm curious to try it. Now, I did check the range on our blaster bomb, and we're a little ways away from being able to do the device, probably like a turn or two of movement. But I want to just go ahead and start off with this bombard directly on the device and see if that just wins the mission for us immediately. And if that doesn't, we can push forward and try and use the blaster bomb as well. And if that doesn't work we can uh, actually try and do a fair real mission where we fight aliens and stuff. So, first action, going to go ahead and just drop a bombard directly on this. Oh, can you not fire? Okay, I'm getting a little error message. Can Is there a maximum range on this? Okay, there we go. So we got the device over here. Can we really not bombard it for reasons it's not telling us? Huh, looks like we can't, and there's nothing telling us why. All right, well, I guess we'll just try and uh, push forward and use the blaster bomb. Okay, so we've got some decent cover on this tree. As you wish. And generally, we're just trying to push forward to the device at least close enough to use the blaster bomb and failing that to actually engage. So blaster bomb is on you, I believe. And you are in concealment. So let's just pull you up to this vehicle and uh, see if that's close enough to use the blaster bomb next turn. Uh, we also have this Reaper in Shadow who we can use to uh, try and scout forward and uh, get squad sight on the blaster bomb location. But then I'm just going to set up a wall of overwatch for uh, any aliens who blunder into us in the meantime. Alright, and Templar... Go here. Overwatch, 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 Overwatch. Reinforcements in from the Avengers reserves. All right. Uh, so he's got very low will. He's still one of the guys who we can't theoretically send out. So we should be careful not to get him in too much trouble or in a situation where he might panic. All right. So it looks like we're still a little ways away from being able to use the blaster bomb. Fortunately, we do have a lot of mobility on her. Moving to designated position. And she's in stealth, so hopefully she won't activate enemies immediately. Alright, do we have the blaster bomb in range? We do. Okay, so... I would like to deal with this pod first, and then blaster bomb. Do we have... we have freeze grenades on someone, right? So I wouldn't mind launching a frost bomb on these guys if we can get close enough. 
Looks like that's probably not going to happen. So we'll probably need to wait a turn to use the Blaster Bomb if we want to get a good engage on these guys while we bring everyone else up. Um... But we should be able to get up to this vehicle pretty safely because that's where we uh, didn't have vision of them last turn. Okay, and then go ahead and get the Frost Bomb all the way up, and hopefully this doesn't uh, activate that pod. Alright, and then we'll probably have you sit tight. We probably won't be using the Templar because we don't want to move that far forward um, and risk activating anyone else. I am trusting you. Oh, it would be nice to get a uh, Claymore on them, which we can do if we get two actions on her without breaking concealment. What's over there? Well, let's just have you hang back here in Overwatch. And you push up to here in Overwatch, just in case we get anyone pushing towards the uh, Avenger ramp. Scanning. Moving to Overwatch. I am watching. Come get some. Guard duty it is. All right. So if all goes well, uh, we'll frost bomb these guys next turn, and uh, once we've got this pod finished off, can. Uh... Okay. So we. Might be able to get up here to frost bomb them without being seen. It says we won't see them. Let's move already. Uh, but we're still a little bit short. We do have a shred storm cannon. Is uh, anyone in the way of that? So we can hit all three of these with a Shredstorm Cannon without uh, exposing, without... Our Ranger will be flanked if that happens. Do you have Salvo, Ranger? She does have Salvo, so we can actually blow up the thing and then have her do something else. So that's kind of nice. We can actually... It's fine if she loses her cover, because we're going to have to blow it anyways. And then we get to uh, have her run up and sword something after she hopefully blows up the device. Time to shred. All right. So hello, new friends. So then we need to deal with these guys. Um, I'd be comfortable running up to here to uh, deal with the... Alright, let's actually just blaster bomb first to see if that takes out the device. To hide. Because she will get an action afterwards. Okay, that did not destroy the Disruptor, so that's good to know. Alright, so next step is we need to kill this robot so that then we've got a shotgun and a uh, uh, rend to finish off the rest of the group. So who's going to be the best at that? What's, what's your shot on uh, the robot in back look like? 71? It's not ideal. Oh, we could have started off with your Claymore as well. well could you capacitor discharge from this range? Okay. So you probably can't get in range to do that. Can aid protocol from any range. 
So we could use your bombard to take out, but I kind of want to try and bombard the disruptor. Let's go ahead and do you have a do you have a good shred storm line on any of this? Okay, you can't hit the guy in the back. We could just have the Reaper blow him up with a Claymore. Alright. Yeah, that feels reasonable. It leaves her in cover and lets us do everything else pretty easily. Alright. Now we wait. So we throw out a Claymore, we shoot the Claymore, we keep our Reaper in cover. Oh, we don't have line of sight on the Claymore? All right. So we can just have you use that to 100% kill the robot. That seems fine. We'll be able to deal with everyone else elsewise. All right. And then do you have a... Can you sting the guy in back for sufficient chance to kill? I think that's good enough and that... We're not using you for anything else, and that removes our uh, chance of uh, of running of revealing new enemies by meleeing him. So a miss, but that's fine. All right, who's that leave? Uh, yeah, that'll do her. Probably won't kill it, so it'd be nice if we could get a little extra damage on it first. Alright, let's throw down an overdrive just so we can try the to uh, bombard. So shoot the Archon first. Cool. And then we can try and bombard the device. Alright, that still doesn't work. Cool. So I guess Bombard is just a little buggy in uh, what the actual range is. Oh, that only dealt two. Interesting. Mm, Lyrium Core. Good pickup. Alright, so then we've got one flanked enemy left. So, we could punch him for a little higher percent chance or use up one of our expendables, but I'm actually okay with the 90%, especially because we can parry bay them. Uh, how many of you have I killed? Whatever you say. All right, and then throw down some uh, overwatches from the back. Overwatch, Overwatch, parry. There is nowhere to hide. All right. An uncharacteristic mistake. So we can see a Codex and an Archon back here. Okay, looks like those guys are going to activate as well. I know where you are. So two pods here, but both fairly modest. Should be okay. I wish you could hit some of these robots. I really like getting these free overwatches. Commander, I'm sending reinforcements in from the Avengers reserves. The Julia? Yep, not very well equipped right now, but uh should be okay. Alright. So we need to deal with this and then we need to get over here. And I have no idea how close I have to be to bombard it. So we could... can't hit much of this with a frost bomb. If we push up, we can take out a lot of 
armor and cover with a uh, plasma grenade. So I think I like doing that. It will. S I think I'll probably put damage on the codex, even though it'll split it. Here, catch. Maybe I shouldn't have. I've got enough stuff that can one-shot a codex. On the other hand, I can probably kill it with a rend here. So I could do some reaping. Could throw a claymore. Got a capacitor discharge. And it's just a lot of stuff to do and a lot of people to do it with. I do want to be careful that I don't activate this pot in back here. Um, it's kind of like a run and gun up to here and take a big shot on the uh, Archon. Copy that. I think that's going to be our farthest move, so I like starting off there. And then we can have someone give her uh, teamwork potentially uh, 86 33 to crit do we have a rapid fire on her we do not All right. oh that's not great alright so who is her teammate is it you no is it you? You're out of actions as well. Alright, we're probably going to have to do something a little bit fancier. Avoid... Oh yeah, we've got this nonsense as well. So, I think I probably like doing a Reaper here. Just because that'll allow us to clean up a lot of garbage. Alright, so we can do that, and that'll kill the Codex. Alright, we're a little short on him, but we've got a flank shot with Lightning Hands. And then we can rend him. Doesn't look like we can get anything else off of that, though. The power of the hey, he's stunned for two turns. Oh, because it... Oh, interesting. I didn't get the Reaper bonus, because the Reaper action, because of his stasis ability. So we should keep an eye open for that in the future. All right. So, we're actually starting to get to the point where this Archon is going to be a problem. So we can... Push up with the robot. Okay, can you... How close are you? Can you get into range to drop a bomb, kill the Codex, and drop him through the floor? Because that'd be nice. Who's your teamwork on? Him? Um, yeah, we can skip on that for now. I'm going. Okay, don't quite have a good plasma grenade here. Looks like the tree is blocking it? That's interesting. Alright, so... Can you get a decent uh, Shredstorm Cannon off? 
or shredder gun to knock the floor out and take out both of these. Okay, that seems like a good start. A nine health left on him. So we do have a mimic beacon. We do have a claymore. And we do have a capacitor discharge. Can't quite get there. You're almost certainly too far away to help. We can pull you up though. So we do still have this mimic beacon, which we can use. Um, we can always throw down our one banish, but that seems like a bit of a waste. Oh, we can actually just uh, teamwork the uh this guy and then he can run up and rend and he's got three focus so that should be sufficient for him to uh one shot the archon and then we can actually move him back here to uh blade master the priest when it gets up Oh, but of course. Alright, well, you're still in Reaper mode. How much damage do you do? Only 8 to 9? So you can ghost. Alright, well, that second pot is going to be a problem. That could well get someone killed. Um, and that is the same pod that was on the device, so we're just getting close enough to where we... Our whole blaster bomb cheese plan failed completely. Alright, so we did use our mimic beacon, which is pretty unfortunate. Um, Alright, so we have... Codex Codex Archon. Which is, I think, more annoying than it is deadly at the moment. I think one of the, at least one, one or both of the codexes will probably start off with a psychic bomb. I think if we can get... With that... What about if we remote start it? Uh, that'd do some work. That would... Okay, yeah, that'd just kill everything. Um, including our Templar, correct? Yes. So let's uh, go ahead and move our Templar back first. Uh, the hope was two blades from this guy. It would also be nice to parry bait. Do we have any other actions left? Seems pretty unlikely we can get you in range to do anything. So I think we just want you to run to somewhere that has good cover and is out of range. Okay, it's not hitting the robot, let's just run the Templar behind the robot. So we are actually going to take a bit of enemy fire this turn, and could be a bit of an issue, but hopefully this will do some work. This will cause damage to a friendly unit. Will it? Is it, who is close enough that that might matter? It doesn't look like it's hitting the robot. Well, let's see what we're missing. Maybe just because the first time we selected it? Wait, did we have someone up there? Oh god, we had a ranger up there? Okay. Uh, well, you might die...
Okay, so we've got an Archon who's going to kill her. And that's her only action left. Man, I... that... okay, that's pretty bad. So we can go for a Gremlin heal here, and that'll get her... Healing or reviving them as needed. Alright, well, she is very likely to die. As a note, if she does, we should pick up her stuff, because she's carrying all the great weapons. But man, that is rough. That just totally missed that she was standing there. At least we've got the nano med kits, so uh, she might be able to survive one hit. Oh, so he's actually fleeing to rejoin a different pod. Commander, the situation just got worse. Resistance outposts are reporting enemy transports on the move across this region. All right, so we've got. Ready for an all-out assault. Oh, this guy's still stunned, so that's nice. Um, robot, can you bombard? Man, there's just no indicator of. What is causing that? Alright, so this guy is stunned, so he can't do anything. We have reinforcements coming in. We will want to overwatch those. Um, we have a Reaper. Let's move our Reaper up to see if getting vision of the device allows us to bombard it. And failing that, this will show us where other enemies are. Okay, so this has 16 hit points, so, uh, I wonder if the people I was hearing about using blaster bombs to kill it were using multiples, or if it's just, like, um... Damn, rolled the 50-50 on whether we actually killed it. Okay, so didn't really want to activate those guys, but when we've got reinforcements coming in, but we should be okay. You're out of actions. You're pretty far away from everything. Someone needs to kill this priest, but that's fine. Got these two temple, uh, these two archons. Might be a mimic beacon turn. How much damage does this do? Five to seven. It's not that great. Um, Alright, so we've got a lot of people. We've got... Want to kill this device, but there's prob probably lower priority than the three enemies we've got on the board. We would like to push you up to somewhere that has cover, especially because you're still injured. We might want to throw a Mimic Beacon this turn. We could try out Void Conduing something. Oh man, we have so many actions. We do want to save some Overwatch for here if possible, but dealing with the Archons is more important. Uh, you do not have Run and Gun up. You can slash for quite a bit of damage. So if we can get... He already used Bombard, and that did activate that group. Let's see... We have like a... We don't have a Psychic Storm thing yet. We just have Ghost and Void Conduit. Huh. What all do we want to do? Got a lot of people, but it's all so far away. Got the Mimic Beacon on you, but also have Salvo. 
We could throw a Mimic Beacon in Overwatch with you. We could... We're probably too far away to frost bomb those guys. We can kill one of the Archons with this. That does risk exposing more enemies. Do you have the... you're immune after you kill someone? Implacable. Granted a single bonus move. Untouchable. Okay, you do have that. So, we could just have you run up and kill this Archon is a pretty reasonable thing to do. And then we throw a Mimic Beacon, throw down a bunch of Overwatches broadly, and that should be enough to be safe. That's rough if it activates another pod. But with reinforcements coming in, I guess this is everything left. Alright, so you're implacable. Oh, we actually don't even need the other mi Mimic Beacon because you're immune to next attack. Here I come. And, uh, we can just kill this guy. With whatever. Um, you can probably just do this. Probably. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so you get the kill there. Parry. Move everyone up and overwatch. I wish I could just break your concealment to get a better overwatch here. Possible we should be moving up more forces to uh, deal with that Archon, but I'm hoping... Right. So, pretty modest reinforcements. Surprise, more advent. <laughs> Really, only... Okay. I was going to say, if we only got one Overwatch off of that entire thing... Yeah, I didn't get it. Wait, what? Cool. Taking heavy fire! Commander, I'm sending reinforcements in from the Avengers Reserves. Menace 1-5, be advised, we've picked up hostile reinforcements... Alright, so got more reinforcements there. So... I think we are at the point where let's just try and use Banish to take care of this dude and see how that goes. Alright, cool. So that's that problem dealt with and then we can have the other one of you blow up the generator. Uh So our uh, strategy of trying to cheese this backfired pretty badly. We didn't really get any advantage from it and ended up using quite a few of our explosives. Alright, so we do want to deal with uh, reinforcements here. Uh, you do not trigger Overwatch, is that a thing that's true? Uh, you don't have the uh, katana right now, but you do shred.
Yeah, yeah, I know. Position compromised. Oh, you don't have rapid fire right now? Oh, you don't have enough... Oh, yeah, because of the thing. Alright, well... I forgot you had the funky weapon. Okay, so we want to start pulling everyone back, but these two are going to be the outliers, so we don't need to focus on it. Um, we do need to kill this fellow. Alright, and then the robot, and then everyone else starts moving back and overwatching. Oh, you actually can rend all the way from there? Well, that's nice. And where's the next reinforcement pod coming in? Right here? How about you uh, do some blade storming on them? And uh, we hope that there's no... Let's do this. Uh, purifiers to explode on your face. We will need to reload everyone eventually here. Do you have a free reload? Nope. I'll go ahead and just reload you and overwatch. Alright, so we should be coming back here alive with everyone unless something goes horribly wrong here. Purifier. Purifier. No purifier. <laughs> Are we not getting blades thrown on him? Hardly did anything. Huh, I thought for sure he had uh that ability. Oh man, she got hurt. And we've got more reinforcements incoming. Alright. So now people all the way up here need to just start sprinting back. Got it. Moving. Um you have her. Can you you can't line up a shot where you uh hit the commander? That's sad. Alright, um, so you can re-enter concealment just to get a little more range. Run all the way back. Alright, and who wants to go deal with this, uh, Captain Fellow? Got a frost bomb. Uh, combat protocol seems sufficient. So we can just Alright. Well you do have a good overwatch though. And you Did you see that one? I right. can give you a long watch can uh, start getting some high ground overwatches here. Man, we are getting a couple of wounds here, which I'm not super happy about. Um, so we're still at least a turn or two from getting all the way out. 
Where is the reinforcements coming in? There? It's actually not an ideal location for what I thought was going on. Okay, yeah, we, we don't have uh, Bladestorm on the Templar, we just have uh, Reaper. That's what I was getting confused by. Got a miss, but took out his cover. Enforcements, of course. On your uh, so, Sniper, you're up first. What do you got? Um, Might as well use Lightning Hands just for funsies. And then go ahead and knock out a little armor. Okay. So no guaranteed kill there. You do have a guaranteed kill. Alright, so that's nice. So that just leaves the guy in the back. So we do need to keep pulling our two folks up at the very front as far back as possible. Uh... I'm actually okay just pulling back to here and going for an overwatch on her, though. Seeing as we've got friends coming in from the side. Is it worth the lightning hands here? I think so. So you have two actions left. And you do have quick draw, so we can actually fire over here again and still rend the robot. Alright. Alright, and then you actually do have Blade Storm. So you can run up. You can reload, run up, sword this fellow, and then uh, sword him again when he comes out of stasis. And then everyone else can go uh, overwatch the reinforcements or uh, pull back as appropriate. I'm compelled to agree. Oh, uh, need to reload you, but I'm actually okay overdriving just because could potentially be such a valuable overwatch with the high ground and the ability to shoot new enemies who come in. So I can attack anything that passes by. I can handle that. I'm on it. Alright, how are we in terms of oh god, getting to a gas tank sounds horrible. Alright, let's reload you not put you next to anything horribly explosive. I guess we'll just miss out on your overwatch. I don't think it's worth using a run-and-gun overwatch there. Oh. Must have been a free reload. Reading comprehension for the win. Alright, so we're maybe in position to get everyone back this turn. Maybe not until next turn. God, we're commanding so many people right now.
Fortunately, the reinforcement pods are all pretty modest. If we can, if you deal with each of them that turn, the new ones coming in aren't that threatening. If we were leaving enemies on the board and falling behind, it would be a lot scarier. They're flanking us! You know that was good. Alright. So, could we get everyone back this turn? Not quite. So we do have at least one more turn here. You could easily get back. Oh, nice. Hair trigger. Uh, yeah, you're almost... Oh, you've already got your promotion, don't you? Um... You are not yet a major? What, what's the major badge look like? Alright, so you, we want to just run all the way back towards the Avenger. Everyone else looks in position to get their next turn, right? Can you get their next turn? Yep, by a mile. Alright, that is no longer an Overwatch. Tired of waiting around. So let's give you the kill shot, or a Grenadier the kill shot, or the Reaper the kill shot. Let's give Grenadier the kill shot. Hundred percent. Impressed yet? All right, and you can just barely get to the ramp, but we can pull you a little closer in Overwatch. Finally. I'm hoping that next turn we'll kill all the re reinforcements and still be in position to Overwatch. By which I mean kill all the reinforcements and still uh, be have everyone in range to fully escape. I see everything. Right. And you can get there. I hope it's worth it. Affirmative covering now. Long watch. Overwatch. Overwatch. Who we got? Three enemies, uh, no priests, so that bodes well for us being able to blow them all up immediately. Could potentially even get a remote start if they hang out by that car. It's quite the trick shot. Alright, one down. Uh, tragically not running towards the car. Shot failed to connect. Shotgun? Shot failed to connect. I did only deal two. More reinforcements, of course. Alright, so I think the plan is just get everyone else out this turn. But, uh... If we can kill a few people on the way out, all the better. All right, so you are in the evac zone. You have a free reload. Oh, you don't have shot on anyone, though. So... Can you remote start this to kill him? You can. Uh, can you do it... And get back to here, probably. I go where I'm needed. 
All right, remote start. So it says it won't hit this guy. And it will at the very least clear Overwatch and probably take this guy to a point where we can finish him off. Okay, that's great. Who else? Okay, so that opened the sight lines here. Cool. You can't handle me. So we could try and finish off this Lancer, but let's just get everyone out of here. Okay, so seven soldiers remaining. We will save some actions here just in case someone can't get back and we need to overwatch or teamwork or something. But I'm pretty sure we should be able to get everyone out. Four remaining. I'm going. Two remaining. Just these two on the roof. One remaining. All right, so we get to pull back the robot, see if we've got anything we want to throw at this guy on the way out. I hope you know where I'm going. All right. Um. Nah, let's not risk it. Let's just lift off, get everyone out. Excellent work, Commander. Looks like the Avenger lives to fight another day. All right, so uh, got a couple of wounds there, both on rangers, which is inconvenient, uh, but did get a uh, level up on our mech to max level, I believe. So not bad there. All in all, that getting that mission is probably a little bit of a net negative for our campaign, but not at all bad. Uh, maybe it's just positive if we've got two promotions out of it. So what do you even get? Sacrifice generates a protective field which redirects any an attacks against allies to you. That's cool. Releases a blast of energy, damaging all nearby units. No cost or cooldown, but consecutive novas will damage the spark. No action point and no cooldown. All nova attacks after the first deal is stacking two damage to the spark. Both of those sound great. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll think about that one. Booming Mine. Shredder. None of these look great to me. Like, Banish we really want to save for high value target, so getting two random attacks after killing you know, a Chosen or something, isn't that valuable? Maybe Homing Mine's good? Could go for Squad Sight Kill Zone Reaper. Just go for Squad Sight Reaper as opposed to the fancy stuff and uh, use that for Trixiness. It's interesting that Reapers have, like, some a ridiculous amount of power for just having them on missions with Shadow and Remote Start. But they don't actually get that much important stuff as they level up. Like, Banish is a second cool trick, but... Bunch of Codex Brains and an Illyrium Core. Yeah, he's still shaken. Also shaken. Oh god, and... So it, it sends troops without asking your permission and then gives them negative traits. Yeah, that's pretty rough. 
And now they would weave it into something new, something born of an even more vicious and intolerable... Okay, uh, did any of those people who acquired negative traits, can they be... Can we start dealing with that in the infirmary? No. Fear of chosen, fear of fire. Good lord. Yeah, okay, that actually ended up doing a bit of a number on our roster. So, how long until we have uh, Julia back? Three days. So that's not too bad. Um, I was thinking about the Codex Gate mission that we now have available. The Codex Brain Coordinates. And uh, it is a very chrysalid heavy mission. So I'd... Uh, in including a bunch that are uh, burrowed, so I'd really like to uh, bring Julia on that one with her Bladestorm Arashi, if possible. Got the Gatekeeper no Autopsy coming in for our uh, Psychics. Haven't brought him on a mission yet, but excited to do that at some point. Let's go ahead and take care of the rest of this supply drop. Some casualties during that last so I've been thinking about this a little bit. I think I am going to locate his stronghold just because it gives you a uh, lot of benefits. These missions give you a lot of benefits with faction influence and stuff. But I have heard that if you don't kill the Chosen, they show up on the final mission. And that actually sounds like fun to me. Like, I've played the final mission before. I've done a couple of Chosen strongholds at this point. And it sounds more fun to kind of, like, let the Chosen show up at the end and continue kind of keeping the new content rolling until the end of the campaign rather than uh, dealing with all three of the Chosen and just kind of being on a easy slide at that point. It should be easier to hunt them down now. The skirmishers respect your ways, Commander. Your people fight you for If there are orders you would have us follow, Commander, all right. Our influence with the resistance factions has motivated them to share some new information. Wow, we have so many options and none of them are to rescue uh, Lebedev. I think at this point, I'm mostly interested in avoiding risk. Like, none of these are just that great. Don't need more engineers, don't need more supplies, don't need mention the way of PCSs. What's the breakthrough research? Oh. Oh, reuse them. That's less in that's kinda cool. I don't know. Yeah, I thought it was going to be the old thing that increases the bonuses of them, and I would have been more interested in that. Uh, don't really want to send scientists out. Supply run. High risk of ambush. Think I'm probably going to do this one. Oh, it, this one doesn't actually give you the increased faction stuff. Man, this is the first time that I'm not feeling super enthused about uh, any of the options. Oh, here we go. This is actually what I thought the other one was. Um. Yeah, I'm into this. Uh, so there is moderate risk of ambush. Who can we send on this? We could actually send our Reaper and try and stealth through the mission. The other option is send a Grenadier. All the ambushes I've seen so far have been in Lost Cities, which makes Grenadiers less fun for that.
Man, we're up to uh, a full squad of colonels. That's pretty sick. That's great. Okay, so we should send someone who can actually receive a promotion for this. Which says to me... Sharpshooter. And then we just need to send someone else to help him out. Our roster's thin enough that I'd rather just send one of our low-level troops. Send out Sonar. Alright, and we would like to load these guys out a little bit. Wait, why is... Okay. Guess I'm okay giving him Venom rounds for this. And then you can have a Skulljack. We don't have the Gremlin Mark III. We haven't done the Sectopod, I guess? We'll send you with, uh... I guess we'll give you the Disruptor Rifle. Just in case you get yourself into trouble. So I'm really hoping we don't get an ambush here, but Integrated Warfare is pretty valuable. Not as worried about the Soldier Wounded chance. We need to hold on to our intel at this point. Cool. So that'll give us new orders. Will it do it in time for the end of the month? It will. I mean, it looks like we're not super far into this month. Okay, and then three days to getting... Uh, a couple days to getting Julia back, but we'll probably just throw her in the... Uh, little Avatar progress, but we're pretty fine on that. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. Probably throw Julia in the infirmary to deal with her uh, fear of fire. You still shaken? Are two days wounded? Oh, we should have someone. We should have an engineer in the infirmary. What are we doing? Uh, empty. Get thee to the infirmary. Alright, that was a bit of a mistake, but I guess we only wasted two days on that. Alright, so we could swing by the black market, could get some supplies, could get some alloys and Illyrium crystals. That sounds better. Avenger plotting new port. This point, we're pretty close to maximum power. We really just need to get an... Okay. We really just need to get an A squad ready to do the uh, endgame missions. Alright, so she's recovered from her wounds. Let's send her to the infirmary. Five days. Experimental ammo coming up soon. And if we need to free up an engineer at any point, we can, uh... Just spend some supplies to give us some more power and pull an engineer off it. Oh... Solace is good, but I, I'd like to get keep giving some more offensive abilities. Give them both Null Lance. We're close to the point where might actually bring a Psychic on the next mission. You should have known I'd be coming for your friend. All right. Sectopod and Chrysalids. So 11 enemies, 
may well have a chosen showing up as well. I'm going to go ahead and write this down real quick. But it's basically just everything advent after that. Yeah. Okay, so don't need to worry too much. Just Sectopods, Chrysalids, Advent. Setting course for the Indian Regional Zone. Oh man, we have not brought done much with our skirmisher yet. So, yeah, I'm into bringing the skirmisher on this one, especially because uh, the chosen is weak to skirmishers. Let's take a quick look at this guy's abilities, just because I don't even remember what he does. All right, so bunch of ripjack stuff. Combat presence as a support ability. We can't. We have enough AP that we can do give you another ability if we want. I think I like uh, zero in, especially if we can get you in a position to shoot the chosen a little bit. This doesn't seem super useful. Like, we just don't overwatch on our first action very often, and this wouldn't be enough to convince us to do so. Yeah, so let's just spend a little bit on zero in, and uh, then save the rest of the points for when he hits Colonel. Can uh, promote our spark... Is sacrifice... it's three turn cooldown? I think I like Sacrifice better. It's a tough call. I have mostly liked the attack tree better. But the fact that we usually want our spark in the middle of our team to provide cover, which makes us less useful. The fact that um, Sacrifice, we can use multi... If it were once permission, I'd be less inclined. But on a three-turn cooldown, that means you frequently get two uses out of it. It seems like the equivalent of a Mimic Beacon or Frost Bomb is just, like, really solving a turn. So let's try Sacrifice. Alright, uh, and then for you... So I thought there was an ability that lets Reapers just keep firing... The chance to reveal still occurs. I thought there was an ability that lets you keep... Okay, a Reaper that deals only killing blows can remain in shadow indefinitely. So this ability, the tooltip is really misleading to me. Like, I had seen this ability in action watching some streams, but this, uh, the text here says the chance to reveal still occurs. So I wish I had gotten this uh, about 20 missions ago. Alright, uh, do we want Shredder... We want squad sight or kill zone. We want squad sight. Alright, so we've got kind of a super sniper reefer, reaper who can shoot, uh, who can finish off enemies and uh, remain in cover indefinitely. Oh, and we can probably build the third level reaper weapon now. Yeah, so I've been wanting this one for a while, but we were short on... Alright, so we have... This is 110.77. This is 90, so we can upgrade both our Skirmisher and our Reaper primary weapons. We're not bringing a Sharpshooter on this one. We don't have an available Sharpshooter, right? Lockdown's 10 days out... And Huntsman's on a covert action. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy to uh, spend the resources. Don't need to upgrade our rifle right now. We can swing by the black market if we want to do it later. So Shadow Lance, Bullpup, and we also have enough to get this Ripjack. All 
Alright. Got some new stuff here. So, um, I will probably take a break before the next mission, but go ahead and uh, finish getting everyone loaded out here. You do have total combat, so you can throw stuff and then do stuff, right? You do have tactical rigging, total combat... All right, so like two plasmas, two frosts, we're going heavy grenadiers this mission, which, yeah, I definitely like that against sectopod chrysalid. If we had a blade storm, that would be great. We definitely want you. Do we want a medic? I would like at least a med kit. You're both majors. We don't... Do we have a specialist we could bring? Even a lowish level one? We do not. Yeah, we'd have to dig really deep. So probably just want to throw a med kit on someone else just in case someone gets chrysalid poisoned. Because that would be bad. So I think I actually like going for med kit on you... Mimic Beacon on you. Just to check. So yes, this is now a Shadow Lance. Got a good... Got a little bit more damage there. You have the Fusion Ripjack and the Cal-90. Uh, we can give you a blaster launcher. We don't have any... We've got a little bit of extra stuff to give everyone. So you guys can't equip... Oh man, we've got all three specialty classes. So he can't carry everything. I think I'm actually into... Which, which one of you guys has more gunner abilities and which one of you has more... Explosive abilities. So you've got holo targeting and suppression. You've actually got more of the gunning, it looks like. Yeah, chain shot. Salvo. Okay, so you're better at shooting. And you've got auto loader and hair trigger. Let's swap that out. So giving you the worse upgrades and you the better upgrades since you're better at actually shooting. Yeah, advanced scope, advanced hair trigger. Do we actually have anything we want to swap in for these? Could swap in superior hair trigger... Yeah, might as well. Alright, and then we can also give you some better armor and swap the medkit onto a different slot. Blaster launcher. Nano medkit. Alright, so this will let you do some stuff against the Sectopod. We're going to have your other abilities to deal with Chrysalids. This looks like a pretty good loadout to me. Got all three of our heavy weapons. I think I like using the two heavy armors rather than the Wraith suit. Any other grenades we'd rather be bringing? Oh, actually... Might be better to go for the blue screen rounds on the Skirmisher. I don't know, you can... You've got Lightning Hands and Quick Draw. I 
think you get more shots in general. Alright, is this our build? I think this is our build. Let's rock and roll. Alright, thanks to everyone for watching. And uh, people who are watching live, we will be uh, back with this mission in five minutes. Uh, have a good afternoon.